Um, hey, I was really excited about this segment because we've got the fellows from Heritage Custom Painting here. Uh, the folks here at the station know about them because they did this big wall that is across the northern end of our station. Um, I, I want to show you a before picture of that because it was, um, I mean, I want to say it was ugly, but it was kind of ugly. And these guys came in, they sanded it down, they completely refinished it, and, and now we've got this big, beautiful white wall. Jason and Jason. That you got to be named Jason to work for Heritage Custom Painting uh, are here, and I mean this this is an example of what you could do in a in a commercial location like yep. we have. But uh, the same technique is used to refinish somebody's kitchen cabinets, right? Exactly. Inside somebody's home, here's an example of somebody's home that we did. We came in, sanded the cabinet doors themselves, primed them, sand again, finish coat, sand again, and then the final finish coat before we install them. And and arguably. Uh, more economical than ripping all the cabinets out and replacing them. Faster and more economical for sure. I want to feel the finish yeah. of this thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh my goodness, this is, this is. I, I wish folks could feel this because it is. It's like a. It's like a factory finish. It's just smooth as glass, um, and I, I'm guessing easier to clean than what preceded it, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. You get an older finish, and the greases and all of that are going to hang up on there more so, and uh, yeah. so absolutely. Now, and you guys at Heritage Custom Painting, um, I mean, this is not the time of year maybe to, be, to begin an exterior project, but you could do my house top to bottom, mm -hmm. kitchen cabinets included. Kitchen cabinets, interior, trim, walls and ceilings, and then exterior, uh, all the way from trim to brick. Uh, we've got a lot of different pictures here where we've done both brick and uh, obviously wood siding, vinyl siding, um, aluminum siding just so many different um, levels of exterior surfaces. We've got the camera pointed right now at, at, a, at, a, at a kitchen and uh, presumably this is an example of, of refinished cabinets. That's another example uh, there in that one. They did not do any box exchange. Uh, so basically that just that kitchen exactly what it was was exactly stained and then refinished. And one of the challenges you guys face with the work you do, and, and my sources tell me you do this very well, is do a big project in a home without completely disrupting the family. Yeah. What's the secret to that? Yeah, honestly, we're doing these projects in anywhere from two to four, maybe five days on an average kitchen. Uh, this here kitchen is a little bit bigger than your average, uh, so this one took us a little bit more closer to five to seven days to do this kitchen. But you know, you're you're without your kitchen, right? So right. that might be eating out, which might not be a bad thing, right? Everybody right. likes to eat out once in a while, so uh, you're without your kitchen. So there are some fumes with the primer products that we use because we want that product to stick and grab. Um, and, and the same thing uh, applied to what you did here at, at our TV station when you refinished this, this entire wall. It was a big job, uh, but we were really not disrupted at all. Yeah. Right. And, and the biggest part about not disrupting you know, people's lives and things is actually our communication that goes through that process. Uh -huh. Letting people know where we are in the process and what's happening and what they need to do and what we need to do really helps the client and, and everybody um, to not have as big a disruption as they would have when they just don't know what's happening. Right. Um, so if, if I am uh, thinking about the entire house, mm -hmm. the exterior included, yep. um, when do I have to reach out to you yep. and when, when can that work actually begin given that you know we're looking at possibly snow this right. afternoon? Right. So. Yeah. So exteriors, um, you know, we're almost at, we are really at the end of the exterior season. Right. And they won't pick back up again until late March or April because we need you know, uh, for a 48 hour period, we need that temperature to be above 40, 45 degrees. So, you know, once the paint's on, it still has to cure, and we can't let that temperature drop while that paint's up there curing. But, but I could book you now for March. You could book us right now for okay. March on the exteriors. Ladies and gentlemen, the place is Heritage Custom Painting. My suggestion, ask for Jason.